Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many opened wounds. Wake up. could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. You killed me. <laughs> you killed me!
He's right. Time to get my shit together. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox for 12. What the... I should probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Eddie says there's a plant for every pain. Except heartache. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Ah, here's my ID. This place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Uh, Allison, please. Come on, Allison. Don't start. You swore, Allison. This is nothing. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. Pretty concerned when I came home last night. God, it feels like my head's full of screeching monkeys right now. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. A secret keeper in her secret keep.
Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Secret Keeper in her secret key. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Looks like this is coin-operated. Stop sulking! Okay, focus. I'm still missing some things. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. A secret keeper in her secret key. words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Not here. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night?
Wait, I still need my phone. Hmm. The ringing seems to be coming from downstairs. deal with you right now. What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God. My hands are still shaking. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. I've... Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. I'm freezing my butt off out here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? No, he's uh, busy out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. 
It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course, uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tess are legitimately concerned. Plus, the uh, door-to-door -door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so... I'm good. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon. Right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much? And we're too different. I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. So, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick, and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne, and me, and Tyler when we were kids, and, and Eddie, and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere. 
shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. <laughs> Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you got to put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if I might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Heidi. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. I shouldn't bother him. Uncle's in there. <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. Uncle's in there. <sighs> He's really letting that guy have it. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Nothing really. Just waiting for Dee. 
<laughs> then pull up a chair. Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in- Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious, which is fine by me. Boring is good, not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's like actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. What are you having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on. It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Hey, Gregs. Uh, never mind. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Wait, huh? You know, the perp who's been going around stealing people's mail and dumping their packages into the snow. Anyway, Dr. Torres caught him. She's got him locked in a cage in the back of her SUV. Wait, she's got him where now? It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding, I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. 
This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at them all day. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to have this conversation right now. I, I had a rough morning. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. here before. It'll end. It'll end. to just let go. What's happening? I'm so scared, Allison. Me too. I don't want to go. And maybe... Maybe we should tell them the truth. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe. But... What if we get in trouble and then we both get sent away? Hey, Chief Brown. Wait. I, uh... I went back to the house and got these... Kids. They, uh, they wouldn't let me take anything else. I'm, I'm sorry. Sam, please tell them to let us stay together. Please. Oh, gosh. Please. I, I don't have that kind of power. Sam. Oh, kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just 
Needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look. You're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She, she was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He he went to fireweed. Could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. 
Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> It's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. I, I should have seen it. I... I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you two. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Oh, Allie, I... <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. <coughs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. 
What's up? I, uh... Never mind. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want old Sam to, uh, dry out a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that seems sensible. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor, and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana. Impressive collection. You want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, Lives in there. No shame. Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. Well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old fashioned way, you know? Having some trouble? Can't get these nuts loose because my idiot cousin let them rust. I got a can of rust remover somewhere. If you come across it, pass it over, yeah? Oh, uh, sure. Still can't get them off? <laughs> nope. Uh, is it driving me up the goddamn wall? Uh, if I could only find that goddamn rust spray. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. Yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Oh, shit. These freaking nuts are stuck. Would this help? Oh, uh... Thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh... It's in a red can. Not a princess. Could you check if I have rust spray somewhere in this mess?
Still can't get him off? <laughs> nope. No, oh, it's driving me up the goddamn wall. <sighs> if I can only find that goddamn rust spray. How about this? Huh? No. No, it should be on one of those shelves back there. Don't stress yourself out. I can work them for you eventually. <laughs> ah! Oh, damn it! What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. I got some gauze in a cupboard next to the sink. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look... We were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? Hey, come have a look. What's all this? Here, I, uh, kept a few things. Can I? Swords and schemes. 
Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. She looks happy. Hmm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to... Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait. The barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so... I guess we'll know soon enough. Al, are you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all I it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Look at yourself. That's enough. How long are you going to keep feeling sorry for yourself? Are you really just going to drag Marianne behind you for the rest of your life? Give it back. No! I'm sick of watching you play town drunk! For Christ's sake, get it together! You came here looking for my help, and now you're going to stand there and judge me? Things were just fine until you two came along. Digging up things that should have stayed buried. Fine? Look around you. You're living with ghosts. Get out. You're pathetic. Get out! Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on.
Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah, it got cold way fast this year. Climate change, that shit's gonna kill us, but hey. Fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Careful, the line's gonna snap. Reel him in. Now give it a nice pull. Come on, pull up on the rod. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle 
woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yep. Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JCE holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I... I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. You got anything good in there? Maybe, but who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. Alright, here we go. about them apples. Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? T told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. So, what are you going to make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. Slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts, just a drop of olive oil, pure perfection. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me, partner. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. You blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this. Whoa, 
Bam, mm. three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, can I... Can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, uh... You've been with people, right? Uh, romantically? Uh, yeah. A few. Have you? Uh, no. Not really. That's kind of surprising. I guess the right person just never came along. But you're open to the idea? Yeah, I could be. <laughs> Let's say I'm reevaluating. You want my take on it? Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. <laughs> Hard to argue with that, but it's pretty risky, right? I mean, yeah, but you only get so much time. So when I see a chance, I take it, even if he might shoot me down. He'd have to be kind of dumb to shoot you down, wouldn't he? Well, now I'm not judging anyone, but I am, you know, kind of a catch. <laughs> Was that a pun? <laughs> Some people are worth making puns for, don't you think? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. Whoa, careful now. You look like you might be enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's an act. But seriously, thanks, man. This is exactly what I needed. <sighs> Almost. It's just missing one tiny thing. Ben Chip, you read my mind. You know Allison refuses to eat anything cold in the winter? It's her loss. From now on, you've got someone to call if you want to fish or slam a pint of Ben and Jerry's in the snow. A pint. Uh, small fry. We should try to do this again while I'm still in town. For sure. You have my number now. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Sorry. Don't be. I'll see you two later. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, 
It's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. And Sam's nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. It's probably just storage. We're gonna find like 13 years of National Geographic or something. So why would she keep it a secret then? I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was ever a time to find a magic portal. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to- The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a- Well, that's way too high to jump. You wanna give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Can you see anything? Nope, not a. Here, found a switch. Holy shit. Well, that shaved a few years off my life.
her story. Look, she left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Recognize this? Yeah, it's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it. It's different, right? Can you check the book? Okay, spot the differences. Figured anything out yet? Nah, still figuring it out. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between- That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this. Pictures, letters, the gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one too. God, that's so not her. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a com Her father. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long-lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging.
This just lit up, so I think we're supposed What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. She made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then, it was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. The old lady stays locked up in her castle. The old bear's gotta be in his ice cave. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. The ice king goes in the forest, obviously. There you go, stalwart moose. Back in your pond, big frog. That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. The very old beaver definitely goes in her den. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> yes. Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. That was her son, 
Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Almost. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I mean, I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted. We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts.
You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was gonna blow up in my face. I had to do something. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. Hey, you hearing me? Yep, sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. He's not even the least bit sorry for what he did. He could have seriously hurt you. He's just a fucking coward. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment. But she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? I... but she... she never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. None of this would have happened if you'd manned the fuck up! I didn't have a choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. But... Well... Your mother was... A very pretty... And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Oh, God. Where do they do it? 
He made me do it. He made me do it. Why did they show it? It's his fault. This is his fault. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <clears throat> you know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back! Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head? Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler.
She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something... That's it. Yeah. I guess, at this point, you just... have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with... Whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose. You gotta live with it. Okay? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm going to kill you! Herself. You interrupted her and we we got confused. Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. It was our way of of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little aged well, or just gone bad? Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. We weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne 
and Eddie... Visions. Like, our memories? Yeah, but... but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I... I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us... us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the Mad Hunter. One last look, and I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. So you guys moved on too. I hope the next goblin family bakes a lot of sand pies in this. It's too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. 
I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. this one more jog down memory lane mr. Ronan hey I'm having a private moment with me myself and I here <laughs> okay carry on Goodbye, room. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon. For posterity. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. She finally dumped his ass. Sucks to suck, Thomas Anthony Fecky. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop him off at Bernie's. This is goodbye for real, I guess.
Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. <laughs>